<laughs> it is stronger than <laughs> A subject waiting for a separated slash married man. Hi, Stephen Shirley. I've restarted a relationship with a man who is supposedly in the separation stage of his divorce. The reason I say restarted relationship is because 24 years ago, we dated for two years until I found out he was married. And at the same time, he told me he was separated. He states that he had always been in love with me and he is ready to give this relationship his all. I am 15 years younger than him. I always ask him if this is not a male menopause stage. Then about a year ago, we hooked back up and he told me he was getting a divorce. He removed himself from the house, which was his daughter's house. He continues to pay rent and his wife continues to call him. He can, um, we talk every day and he said he loves me, but I allow him to take care of his finances as well as the divorce. Yes, we have seen each other, but only a few times since we live so far apart. I am too old for this, and my patience is wearing thin. Steve, during one of our show, one of your shows, you stated that as a divorced man, you had to regroup. Should I continue to allow this man to regroup, or should I walk away? I love him, but I am too old for this sort of stuff. How do I find out if he is true? If so, how do I stand beside him, and when do I put my foot down? His wife does know about about me and she even asked that I step aside and let them work on their marriage and she couldn't believe I would wreck a marriage. I told her not to blame this on me because I wasn't around for 24 years. So that was long enough to work on it. Yes, a lot of questions, but there is so much at stake. He is supposedly in the separation stage and you broke it off with him 24 years ago after you found out he was married. That's all in, in just the first paragraph, the first two sentences. And, and I think that's really all the answers you need are right here. That and the fact that you need to keep it moving. This situation is a mess right here. I, tell, I say don't go by what he says, but by what he does. He is not a free man by any stretch of the imagination, so he's not ready to be the man that you need him to be for you. He's still dealing with his family. Um, he was just living with his daughter, his ex wife is still calling over there the um they've got financial issues he's still paying rent over there at his wife's house i, I mean so if, if you're ready and and really too old for all of this foolishness you need to act like it and yes walk away to answer your question so you can truly see if he's telling you if what he's telling you will come to pass steve I don't know how old y'all are. That's what bothered me with this whole letter. How old are y'all? Pretty old, 24 years ago they did. But you, something going on that's all wrong here. Mm -hmm. First of all, the reason I say restarted the relationship is because 24 years ago, we dated for two years until I found out he was married. At the time, he told me he was separated. Who has been separated 24 years <laughs> and the divorce ain't went through right, yet? Right. Who? <laughs> what? Who does that? <laughs> How many assets they got? <laughs> <laughs> what they arguing about for 24 years separated and the divorce ain't final? How many times you gonna let this man tell you he separated when it looked good and hell well like he full-blown married? Mm. So now, like Shirley said, that's a lot in the first paragraph. That's everything to me in the first paragraph. He back with the, now he back now with the truth. We separated. But he told you that same lie 24 years ago. He ain't changed his lie in 24 years. You got to be the stupidest person to ever write in if you, you keep listening to a 24-year-old lie. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Waiting for a separated slash married man. Yeah, you were waiting on a married man who say he's separated. That's what the title of the letter be, because you found out you started a relationship with... Uh, you say you restarted this relationship 24 years ago because we dated for two years till you found out he was married. At the time, he told me he was separated. Now, you done hooked back up 24 years later, and now he get what he, he telling you the same lie. I'm separated. Who does this? <laughs> Who is separated for 24 years old? How can you use the same lie over and over and over? <laughs> 
then you hooked up a year ago. He told me he was getting a divorce. He removed himself from the house, which was his daughter's house. How old do you have to be before you get your own house? Mm. What has he been doing? He continues to pay rent, and his wife continues to call him. We talk every day. He said he loves me, but I allow him to take care of his finances as well as his divorce. That's the mistake you're making. You've allowed him to take care of his finances and his wife. Mm-hmm. See, you keep talking about a divorce that ain't happening yet. And yes, we've seen each other, but only a few times since we lived so far apart. So now you back sleeping with him. I'm too old for this, and my patience is wearing thin. Steve, during one of your shows, you stated that as a divorced man, you had to regroup. Yes, I did say that. But your man ain't trying to regroup. He got to get his S together. That's what's wrong with him. It's the difference between regrouping and getting your S together. Okay. I like that, boy. Say that. See, that's a difference. I regroup. He just got to get it together. Now, should I continue to allow this man to regroup or should I walk away? I love him, but I'm too old for this sort of stuff. How old are y'all? How do I find out if he is true? If you got to ask, you already know the answer. How are you still trying to find out after 24 years if it's true? Here is the truth. He married. Here is the truth. He was married when y'all started seeing each other 24 years ago. Then you found out he was married. He told you he was separated. Now, he didn't came back 24 years later. He telling you the same lie. He separated. You stupid. Mm. You stupid. Yeah. So, how do I stand beside him and when do I put my foot down? Well, let's look at this. How many people do he need standing beside him? It's a lot of people since his daughter got him living in his house. He got a wife and he got you. How many people do one man need to stand beside him? Mm. Tricky part. His wife does know about me, and she even asked that I step aside to let them work on their marriage, and she couldn't believe I would wreck a marriage. Mm. Ain't no light bulbs went off in your head. Right. That he married. She didn't ask you let them work on their marriage. They've been working on this raggedy marriage for 24 years. <laughs> <laughs> and I got news for you. Since you ain't seen him that long, I can't tell you how many other women he done slept with. Yes. That's why they marriage raggedy. Yes. I told her not to blame this on me because I wasn't around for 24 years, but some other chicks was. Now, you just mm. finna get on the strain one a minute. So, that has a long... So, yes, a lot of questions there. So, anyway, anyway um, why are you talking to his wife? Because it is his wife, and they're not divorced. And then, this is my final suggestion to you. What is that? Step for? aside mm-hmm. till he step away. Yeah. Mm. Step aside right. till he step away. That's it. That you way you, you find though. out if it's true. If he ever walks away from her, then you can go get him and he'll be yours. But you're going to get yourself a handful of raggedy mess. I'm just letting you know. What is it?